Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a comparison versus video uh, between this 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. This is the Laredo trim level. And then this also has four by four capability here on this Jeep. Well, cause it's a Jeep, right? And then this is the 2022 Toyota Highlander. This is the LE trim level with all wheel drive. And we're gonna look at these two uh, vehicles to see which one's better and which one you think is the best fit for your family. Let's get this video started right now. All right, so let's start off with the front end designs here on both of these vehicles. We're gonna start over here on the Jeep side with the Grand Cherokee L. Now, the Grand Cherokee L was fully redesigned for the 2021 model year. And for 2022 here, it's very, very similar on design here. So you're gonna have full LED headlights here, even on this base at Laredo trim level. You got your turn signals up here at the top. And you're gonna have your seven slotted grill right here in the middle there that all Jeeps have. Of course, Jeep logo in the middle and then you have this nice big broad hood. Now, with the Jeep Grand Cherokee, one difference that you're gonna notice versus that Toyota Highlander is this is a rear wheel drive uh, based vehicle. So you're gonna see the hood here in the front a little bit longer compared um, to the Toyota, and that's mainly because this is that rear wheel drive. So big broad hood here. Again, seven slotted grill, leading on down to the bottom there. You got a nice uh, black plastic cladding here on the front, plus you have silver um, down there on the bottom. And then right here in the, uh, the black portions down here with the plastic, this is where traditionally you would have fog lights, but in this Laredo trim level, you do not have fog lights. Up on the windshield, you do have a little rectangle or a, kind of a triangle there, not a rectangle, but a triangle there. Um, and that's for your radar um, adaptive cruise control and some of your safety features that this vehicle does have uh, standard. Let's go over to the Toyota now and look at the front end. All right, so let's take a look here at this Toyota Highlander. So again, like I was saying on the Jeep Grand Cherokee, this is a front wheel drive base vehicle. Now this one does have all wheel drive, but the uh, drive line is front wheel drive based. And so this hood is not as big and long as that Grand Cherokee. Now, you still have a nice big broad hood that's easy to see over as you're driving. You do have LED headlights here. You have daytime running lights down here at the bottom, plus your turn signals all built in there. Down below that, you do have fog lights here on this LE trim level, which is nice. Thank you, Toyota, for throwing that in here on this LE trim level. And then coming over to the side, you do have your Toyota logo in the middle, plus black uh, kind of gloss finish here on the grill. It looks pretty nice. And then down on the bottom there, you do have your black plastic cladding. Again, Toyota gives you a ton of safety feature standard, just like the Grand Cherokee. So adaptive cruise control, forward collision avoidance, lane keeping assist, all those are standard here um, on the Toyota with Toyota Safety Sense uh, 2.0. Let's go and let's pop open these hoods and see what's underneath the hoods on both these vehicles. All right, so let's take a look underneath uh, both of these hoods here. So both of these vehicles actually kind of go the same route for 2022. Both have traditional V6, naturally aspirated V6s, and both actually have eight speed automatic transmissions. But there's a little difference between the two of them. And I'm gonna kinda, kinda tell you uh, what, this, what the differences are here. So with the Toyota, you have a 3.5 liter V6 engine that is hooked up to that eight speed automatic transmission. 295 horsepower is the uh, power output here on this V6 engine from Toyota. Towing capacity is where the really the big difference is, and I'll tell you why. 5,000 pounds of towing capacity here in this Toyota Highlander. You do have a hood prop here on the Highlander versus in the Grand Cherokee L, you actually do get a hydraulic hood struts here, which is nice. It does hold it up a little bit. It's not that big of a deal, but you do get a hood strut here versus or hydraulic hood struts versus just a, a manual hood strut right there. Now, coming over to the V6 here and the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a 3.6 liter V6 engine. So you have 0.1 liters more of displacement here in this Grand Cherokee L, but this setup actually makes 293 horsepower versus the 295 in the Toyota Highlander. Now, are you really gonna notice two horsepower difference? No, you're really not, but the Jeep Grand Cherokee L actually does tow 6,200 pounds. And so you may say to yourself, well, why does the Toyota Highlander make two horsepower more, but it can tow 1,200 pounds less 
and towing capacity. Well, the, the reason actually is, is because again, this Jeep Grand Cherokee L is rear wheel drive based. Um, and so the benefits of, benefits of the rear wheel drive is that you actually can tow a little bit more. Now, the downfalls of that, and I'll show you there in the third row, is that because it, it, it does uh, have that rear wheel drive nature, you do lose a little bit of third row space in the back there, but we'll get to, get to that when we get to the back portions. But very similar setups here on the, uh, the powertrains options. The only difference is that drive line where you got rear wheel drive based here uh, with a four x four system, and then you have front wheel drive based in the Toyota with the all-wheel drive system. Let's go to the cargo areas now. All right, so let's look at the back here of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and then we're gonna pop it open and look at the cargo area back here. But on the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, you are gonna have standard LED brake lights. You also have your turn signals and your reverse lights right back here, or right located in the same housing. You have a silver chrome strip that does lead all the way around to the, uh, the, the other side of the vehicle, kind of just wraps the whole vehicle around. And then on top, you'd have a shark fin antenna, you have a third brake light up here, and you have an exposed rear wiper right here on the back. Jeep logo down in the middle, backup camera down here uh, right below the Jeep logo. And then you have L 4x4 on that side, and then Laredo uh, written out right on this side. Now, obviously, if you get the Limited or the Overland um, or the other, the other trim levels, you will get different badging, right? So those will uh, change as you go up the trim levels. Coming on down a little bit further, you do have sensors here on the back. So as you're backing up, it will beep at you if you get close to something. And then black plastic cladding here. If you did get the tow hitch on the vehicle, that would be behind this little housing here where you pop this housing off and you can have the uh, tow hitch located right there. Silver strip, again, of chrome down there at the bottom. And then you have some reflectors down here um, on the bottom of the vehicle as well. Let's pop this trunk open. And so on this Laredo, uh, trim level, you do have this optional power liftgate here on the vehicle, and it is very nice to have that power liftgate that pops right open for you. The button for it to actually close it is located right over here, not actually up on the top of the uh, the tailgate itself, um, which is nice for shorter folks. If um, you want to touch the button right there and uh, just hit the button and go, you don't have to worry about reaching all the way up and trying to touch it at the uh, tallest point of the vehicle. Now, Talking way too much, but let's talk about the cargo area here. Tons of space back here for a third row uh, comp or crossover there, for a third row midsize crossover. Um, you do have a little bit of storage below this, uh, this area right down here on the bottom. And then you can actually take this out and down below here, you do have um, your tire mobility stuff for your spare tire that's located underneath this rear bumper. So you can pull this little plastic off um, and expose all those and then it clips right back in. So it's nice. You can then just slide this right back in and put some valuable stuff underneath the bottom there if you want to. Now, on both sides of, the, um, of this little floor here, you do have some storage areas where you can put some things. And then back here, you do have two seats um, in the Grand Cherokee L. The Toyota, which I'll show you in a second, does have one more seat actually in it. So two seats here in the back. Um, you can just pull the, uh, the center um, handle right here and then lay these uh, seats down flat. And then you have a flat low floor that you can kind of put uh, tons of stuff in there. But I'm gonna show you the third row a little bit more in depth in here in just a second. Uh, but overall, cargo space um, is very class uh, competitive here in this segment with the uh, midsize three row crossovers. If you need more cargo space, then these vehicles are giving you, you need to go up to a full size uh, SUV like the Jeep Wagoneer or the Toyota Sequoia, um, or you need to go to a minivan like the Chrysler Pacifica from uh, Stellantis or the Toyota Sienna from Toyota. Let's go over to the Highlander now. All right, so let's look at the uh, Toyota Highlander here on the back. Now, the Toyota Highlander has been the, the same Highlander here for just a few years, and it's aging very, very well for its life cycle. Shark fan antenna at the top there. Then that leads down to this uh, rear spoiler on the back with your third brake light. Exposed rear wiper here. Toyota logo right in the middle of the, uh, the tailgate. And then you have a backup camera right here on the back. LED brake lights here with the incandescent turn signals, and you got your reverse lights right there as well. Highlander spelled out here on the back of the vehicle. And then you have LE, all wheel drive, because that's your trim level back here. Down on the bottom, you have that black plastic cladding with some reflectors there on the bottom of the vehicle. And if you have to get a tow hitch for that towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, that will be located. Um, they'll put it right back here and you'll see it exposed um, if you had a tow hitch. Overall, very good design. Let's pop this trunk open. Now, power trunk here on the Highlander LE all wheel drive as well. And then coming on the back side here, 
you have uh looks like some all-weather mats i'm gonna pull out and put down on the side very nice to have thank you toyota for that <laughs> and so back here you have this rubberized mat that is an option and you can pull these third row seats up just by the strap right there and you'll see that you have three seats back here in the back now here's the thing in the jeep grand cherokee l those are two seats here in the back there but in this one you have that little kind of jumper seat right in the middle i wouldn't suggest you putting three adults or three larger kids back there uh, but in a pinch there if you had some shorter folks or some little kids there that you wanted to put you could shove um, three in the back here and you do actually have some anchors right back here as well that you can uh, hook up some seats to so very nice thank you toyota for that again seats do fold flat you just pull that handle off the top there headrest will go down flat and then you have that flat loading floor um, right back here now let's let's flip this rubberized mat out of the way because i want to show you some of the stuff on, on the side here so over on the sides of this uh, carpeted floor mat or this carpeted uh, cargo area back here you don't have the storage nooks that you do have in the grand cherokee l but you do have very similar space back here i don't know the cubic feet off the top of my head uh, but they're very similar if you're sitting here looking at them um, you could fit basically about the same amount of suitcases luggage bags uh, diaper bags stroller um, you could fit a basically about the same amount of stuff back here in the highlander that you do have in that grand cherokee l now pulling this up you do have again a little storage area down here and again your tire mobility set is down here in the bottom so you have your your jack and all that stuff right down in here and again you can kind of store some stuff down there if you'd like and um, you know it's just a nice little area where you can store some private things uh, back there the uh, button for the tailgate is again up here on the top which uh, for folks you know that are a little bit taller yeah it's not that big of a deal but for shorter folks it would be nice if they went with Chrysler or Stellantis's um, Avenue with their Jeep Grand Cherokee L and put it maybe here on the side or, or one of the things there but if you have the key in your pocket or if you have the key on you you could just double click it and it would go down anyway so it may be a minor gripe but just just talking about it there guys let's go up to the uh, second rows and third rows in both these vehicles because well these are family vehicles all right so let's take a peek behind here in this third row i did change it up to the, a different camera here so that way we could get into the third row a little bit easier but let's look at the second row here so in the second row here and this is in the toyota highlander not the uh, jeep grand cherokee but in the highlander you do have this uh, claw finish here on the back it's kind of black accents here on this um le trim level a little storage nook down there on the bottom and then you also do have um your um power window and uh you have your door handle right here that is kind of a black uh, matte finish there on the v on that one coming on over you do have cloth seating services here in this le trim level very good quality high quality cloth seating services that do have this kind of pretty cool little design and the seats itself this is the uh, kind of black ebony finish there on these seats and then coming on down to the middle you do have some settings there for your um, climate controls and then you have two uh, fast charging usb c ports down there on the bottom thank you for giving us usb c's um, toyota uh, and then you have your cloth uh, seating surfaces on the bottom now to get to this third row uh, you can just grab this handle right here and it kind of pulls the seat up and out of the way and then you have a little step back there that you you can actually jump right into the third row so let me pop that third row up and i'm gonna show you how to climb right back in there all right so let's jump up here inside this toyota highlander so i have one seat up again cloth seating services here in the back i'm gonna jump up in here sorry about the shakiness of the video but you can actually jump in here now i am 5'9 and you can see that with these seats all the way back the way they are i really couldn't slide that uh, second row seat um, back to the back here but here's the thing for smaller adults or smaller kids you can get back here two cup holders um, you have a little area where you can put a cargo connector for the cargo area uh, right back here and then again two cup holders on the other side a little tie down over there um, as well so pretty nice um, you know overall if you have smaller kids you can get back here adults i wouldn't recommend it while we're back here in the second row i did want to show you the window sticker here on this toyota so you see le v6 all-wheel drive right there at the top i apologize about the wind guys it's uh, blowing pretty hard out here for us 
Uh, but $41,433 in this vehicle. Fuel economy, 23 combined, 27 highway, 20 um, in the city. Let's go over that Grand Cherokee right, so L. Let's now. go to the Grand Cherokee L. So you're going to see the window sticker here on the driver's side. Now, you see Grand Cherokee L Laredo 4x4. Now, this one has some options. The paint color is $395. You got a trailer tow prep package. You got a luxury tech group one, which gives you like rain sensing windshield wipers, remote start, wireless charging pad, heated front seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, and you do actually have the uh, power sunroof here in this one. Final sticker price comes down to $47,805. Fuel economy, 21 combined, 18 city and 25 on the highway. Let's pop the door open here on the back. So back door here, you do have a, a more luxurious looking interior here on the Grand Cherokee L. You're going to see that kind of uh, glossy finish that goes all the way to the other side, plus silver door handle, power windows, power locks back here. And you have this nice leatherette finished armrest versus the cloth. And then you have your uh, cup holder down at the bottom there, plus some storage. And then coming over to the inside here, you do have these captain's chairs versus the bench uh, in that Toyota. Um, both of them look very good. Very high quality cloth on both of these seats. Nice designs. And then coming over to the middle, you do have your climate controls for the rear, plus your air vents. And uh, you actually have four USB uh, chargers back here. Two USB-Cs, two USB-As, and a 150 volt uh, or 150 volt uh, watt uh, household outlet right there, plus two big cup holders right there in the middle. Now, getting to that third row, you can do it one of two ways. You can walk through this little alleyway with the captain chairs, or you can pick this up. Now, if you have to pick uh, or slide the seat out of the way, to, our Jeep actually gives you the ability to keep like a child safety seat here and slide that seat out of the way, which is nice. You don't have to take seats out. And trust me, um, if you have kids, you know how valuable that is. Now, getting to this third row, I'm going to jump up in here. Again, I apologize for the shakiness of it, but I'm going to jump back in the third row. And so you're going to see that I have a hair bit more room. This one actually may be able to slide in and actually get my feet in here. Now, that's not saying that I probably couldn't have done this with the Toyota. The Toyota and the Jeep, they're very close in leg room, but this Jeep is a hair bit more comfortable. It does also help that it's only two seats across versus three. Now, you do have uh, two USB ports back here on the right side and then two on the left side. That comes with that luxury two or luxury group tech one and then a cup holder here um, on both sides versus the two and the Toyota little uh, kind of um tie down right there as well just like in the toyota so uh very comfortable let's go up to the driver's seats on both of these all right so coming up to the toyota now with the toyota key i'm going to show you the key real quick on the toyota and it's right here so you'll see toyota highlander spelled right on the back there traditional toyota key lock unlock and then you press and hold for the power lift gate and then your uh, hazard buttons right there traditional key does have smart key access so you can put your hand behind the door and uh, unlock it now coming out to the driver's side doors here you do have that black plastic feel on the driver door handles you do have cloth finish here on the armrest and then you have your power windows uh power lock options here plus your power mirror options right there and then a little cup holder down at the bottom there with the speaker grill now, coming on over, you do have a power seat here on this LE trim level with the cloth seating services. Very, very nice. Um, they look very good in this vehicle, like I've said before. No power lumbar option. Coming on over here, you do have some of your menu options here, the uh, trip uh, option right there. And then you also have your automatic uh, high beams and your button to press to open that power lift gate from the rear. Now, leather wrap steering wheel here, but let's jump in the inside and look at some more of this tech. All right. So let's take a look outside the front of this vehicle. With the Toyota Islander, you have tons of visibility overall with these uh, three row crossovers. They try to give you as much visibility as possible and Toyota is no different there. You do have a uh, regular mirror right here and then above your head, you do have a nice little sunglass holder that's actually really not little, it's fairly big. Plus you do have this little way to uh, put the mirror down and actually see your passengers without having to turn around and look and all that stuff. So pretty nice touch there from Toyota. You do have your uh, light controls there. Plus you have your SOS for your emergency if you need to call um, 911, which is nice. Um, coming on down a little bit further, let's actually turn this one on. So I got the key in my pocket, start button right behind the steering wheel. We're going to flip that on. You'll hear the traditional Toyota um, chime there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this touch screen over here that does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, which is very nice. You get the, um, you know, really big screen here that stretches, 
you know, it fills the space up very nicely. You, there is an optional, um, there's a touchscreen that's a little bit bigger, actually quite a bit bigger than this one um, on the higher trim levels of the Highlander, but this one's very, very nice. You have uh, home, menu, you name it, Sirius satellite, radio, all that stuff right in here. Now, coming down a little bit further, you do have your um, controls for your dual zone or tri-zone climate control, I mean. And so you can kind of, uh, you know, turn the fan up and turn it down, turn the um, temperature gauge right here um, and over there for the passenger side. And just overall, you know, very nice controls. I like how Toyota has actually set them out here um, right in front of you. So that way you don't have to go digging through the touchscreen, which is nice. Hazard uh, lights right in the middle, plus two air vents. And then you have this little storage nook down here in the, the middle, which is nice to have. I like that a lot. And then down a little bit further, you have two USB-C fast chargers and a USB-A for the infotainment system, plus a 12-volt. Thank you, Toyota, for giving us USB-Cs again. And then coming on down a little bit further, you do have a little storage area down here where you can slide your phone or something like that in there. Two cup holders, shifter here that's hooked up to that eight-speed automatic transmission. And then down a little bit further, you do have your electronic parking brake there with your uh, brake uh, parking brake hold. And then you do have your drive mode selector here. So you can go through sport, normal, and eco. A lot of folks are going to leave it right in eco, which is nice. Plus, you have uh, a mud and sand, normal, and rock and dirt modes right down here as well. You got a snow mode down here and then traction control off and then hill descent control uh, button right there. Plus, your auto stop start button uh, right there. Now, center armrest here right in the Toyota slides right back on you and then gives you access to a nice um, nice little center console here it's not the biggest in the segment but you can put some stuff in there if you'd like to store it um and which is nice and then you just slide right back out and it fits right back out uh, right back in place there which is nice coming on over you do have this leather wrap steering wheel here on this uh trim level or this le trim which is nice to have on the steering wheel you do have uh, your adaptive cruise control options here um, plus your uh some of your buttons here for the radio and the mode um, for the radios there. Then coming on over this side, you do have this uh, button here that actually controls um, some of this uh, center screen right here in the middle, which you can go through tons of different things. Uh, music, your safety controls, your fuel economy, you name it, it's all right there. Volume control here, voice control, and then your answer hang up button um, right there. Now going over to the uh, uh, digital cluster, this the uh, cluster here, that you have a um, tachometer here on the left side, with the cool hot uh, gauge right there. And then on the right side, you have your speedometer and your uh, fuel gauges. And then right in the middle, you have this uh, multifunctional screen right there where you can kind of siphon through stuff, um, like I said, which is very nice. Um, just overall, you know, great quality vehicle. Let's go over to the Grand Cherokee L. All right, Grand Cherokee L driver's side. So you do have this Grand Cherokee badge right on the driver's side door with the US flag, which is nice key you have the nice jeep key that kind of was first introduced really on like the uh grant on the wagoneer and this grand cherokee l which is just nice in the hand kind of rectangle uh, shape lock or lock unlock you do have remote start here and uh tailgate uh, power tailgate release plus your hazard lights there thank you uh jeep for giving us a remote start where toyota makes you get it on their app so coming over you do have um unlockable doors by the key smart key entry and then on the door panel again luxurious feel and look silver door handles power locks power mirrors power um window options there nicely padded uh, armrest right here that is a leatherette finish and then down the bottom there you do have some cup holders and a little storage uh, and you have a little speaker uh, grill right there with some silver uh, look around it now coming on over to the driver the, the seats here these seats are heated um, and they are power with four-way lumbar support and you see that right there so you do have a little bit more range of motion than you do have in that grand Cher or that toyota highlander and these are heated in this uh, laredo trim level Coming on over, you do have this automatic headlight settings right here, interior dimming lights, plus your parking uh, brake right there. And then coming on over a little bit further, you do have this leather wrap steering wheel. And let's jump in and turn these screens on. All right, so looking out the front of the Grand Cherokee L, again, just very nice. Overall, very good visibility, like I said, in that Toyota Highlander. Now, above your head, you do have the optional sunroof here in this one. You can see that you can slide that right back and open up that sunroof. You do over, ha uh, over here have the uh, lights on this one, plus you have your tailgate release, your uh, SOS, and then your controls for that uh, power sunroof there. You do have an auto dimming rear view mirror right here. And down a little bit further, you do have uh, nicely located uh, air vents right here for you. And then on top of this touchscreen, you actually have some controls. So you 
have auto stop start uh, off button. You have your lane departure warning, traction control off. You have your hazard. You have parking sensors, and uh, you have your sport mode um, turn on button. Let's turn this on now. I've got the key in my pocket. Turn the button right on there, and you'll see that this touch screen will then um, highlight right up for you. That uh, does fill up this uh, this area very nicely and very uh, good location there to reach and touch, which is nice. And you can do things you know through here like your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, just like in the Toyota. Um, the UConnect system is very snappy. The Toyota system is very snappy as well. Both of these infotainment systems are just overall very good. Uh, now, coming on down a little bit further, you do have your climate control options here, uh, but I do wish that uh, Jeep would actually give you a screen like Toyota does where you can actually see what the temperature is. Um, if you press the button, it actually has to display on the screen right there versus um, where you can just see it, you know, right there on a little bit, little screen without having to, uh, to mess with the touch screen. Heated seats here, so three way, uh, three option heated seats with a heated steering wheel here on this one as well. And then you have your volume knob, tuning knob right down there. A little bit further down, you do have a wireless charging pad located right here where you can slide your phone on there. Four USB ports, an aux port, and a 12 volt um, DC fast charger, or DC charger right there. Down a little bit further, nice and clean. You have a uh, the shifter right here that's just uh, park, reverse, neutral, and drive. You just turn it, um, which is nice. Very high quality. I don't know if you can hear that but it's, uh, it feels like real metal, I'm sure it is. Come down a little bit further. Now, you do have some gloss black here that does get dirty very quickly, but you have some uh, cup holders right here, and then you have this nicely padded armrest. And the Toyota is kind of just a hard, hard plastic. This one, they give you a nice leatherette finish with a little bit of cushion, and then you have two ways of opening it. So you can open that first level that kind of has a felt lining, and then you have the second one that gives you a little more storage. Now, Toyota still gives you more stores right here in this one. The Jeeps is fairly small um, compared to the segment. Coming over to the steering wheel here. This is, again, heated. So in the, the winter time or the cool time or even in the summertime, if you have all three in your hands, it's nice to have that heated option there. Coming on over, you do have right-hand side, you have your adaptive cruise control settings there where you can set it to uh, you know basically keep up with the distance in front of folks or in the traffic there. And then over on this side, you have your answer hang-up button, and then you have this little menu button that goes through this fully digital instrument cluster there where you can kind of customize it and go through a whole bunch of different things there um, on the vehicle like oil life uh, you know cruise can or your uh, fuel economy numbers trip numbers your radio stations you name it it's all right there in this digital cluster which is nice i do wish toyota offered that but for 2023 they are going to be offering that uh, jeep logo right in the middle there and just overall the jeep grand cherokee just feels very premium in the inside let me know in the comment section what you think Thank you all so much for watching this video. This is gonna wrap it up between this comparison versus video of this 2022 Toyota Highlander LE versus the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Laredo. Both are super, very, very nice um, options in the crossover, uh, mid-row crossover, third row segment there. Overall, very nice vehicles there, but the main question is, which one do you think is better in this in this segment there? Jeep Grand Cherokee L or the Toyota Highlander? Toyota's had the Highlander out for years, and the Jeep Grand Cherokee L is a fairly new um, option here in this third row SUV segment. Now, the other thing is, is that there is quite a bit of price difference. You do pay a premium here to get that more high-end feeling Jeep Grand Cherokee L. You pay about $47,000 for this one versus forty-one dollars for the Toyota. So. Would you go with the more affordable Toyota option or would you go with the more luxurious feeling Jeep Grand Cherokee? Let me know down in the comment section below. Um, if you wanna go with the Jeep, just type in Jeep in the comment section. If you wanna go with the Toyota, type in Toyota in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Real quick before I, I finish up, I did wanna give a huge shout out to Hertrick Toyota in Pocomoke City, Maryland. Thank you for allowing me to show this Toyota Highlander. And also, thank you to Hertrick Jeep of Pocomoke uh, City, Maryland for letting me show this Jeep Grand Cherokee. If you want their information, their phone number is down in the comment section below uh, and their addresses are down there as well with their websites. Thank you both for letting me show these vehicles. It was a great honor. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would help me out so, so much. It would help the YouTube algorithm let this video uh, see other people and have other people watch these videos. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in the next video.